YouTube and Guggenheim. They may not be two words that pop into your head at the exact same time, but they're really about a lot of the same things. At the Guggenheim, we are always interested in how to reach the broadest possible audience. We don't create a hierarchy here among mediums. We don't have departments devoted to drawing or painting or sculpture. It's a museum of modern and contemporary art, but I always like to think that it's always been a museum of the new. One of the things we feel most deeply about with YouTube is access. That access we really want to bring to the world of excellence in the established art world. You don't need particular means or a particular education or a particular background or a particular budget. Everybody can play. This collaboration with YouTube gives us a chance to explore digital media, bring it into the museum, see how it functions, see if it functions, and uh, through the process, you know, learn more about the phenomenon. Because we'd like to believe that art is transformative. Show us something that, that hasn't been before, in the eyes of the Guggenheim or in the eyes of YouTube. All eyes are shifting right now to the digital realm to see what that will bring us for the future. Any video creator all around the world, anywhere, can nominate their work. 200 leading videos will be selected for further attention by the panel of experts. The goal is to select between 20 and 25 that will then be presented at the Guggenheim. Maybe what's in your head is the next thing. The world isn't going to know unless you nominate it. Artists should always be challenging the status quo, and that includes museums. YouTube Play. It's the first biennial. A creative video.